Hello, shalom, hola, and welcome to The Spiritual Life uh, with Mystic Reverend Travis Tidwell. That's me. And with my co-host here, Hello, Ashley. Hello, everybody. And I want to welcome my executive producer here, my daughter, Athena, who's also the priestess Dragon House here. Uh, we also want to acknowledge the uh, Lord God Yahweh and uh, my guide Hermes for powering this, this podcast also. And the help of the universe in general. And uh, the help of uh, Athena. Yeah, yeah <laughs> the goddess Athena here at work for sure. Um, so, Ashley. Yes. Another episode. I know. What episode are we on this evening? I know we're hitting close to 40, right? We're on 41 actually oh right now. Oh my gosh. And Congrats. Uh, yeah, Ooh, there you 40. go. 40. <laughs> But, um, yeah, and, you know, we were just talking that uh, this is an episode on magical herbs. Again, this is episode part two. From episode... 19. 19, okay. Yeah, and 19, we talked about the different books that you really need to have uh, on your spiritual path and when you're wanting to uh, learn how to be the metaphysician, you know, that you want to be. Um, and so, on some level... Um, we have that information. We don't really need to use that information because the jars that we have before us have the information on what they do. Uh, I like to work with more than one herb. You um, have a lot of herbs for those that can't see. Yeah. And um, so we're going to make a, a protection blend. Right now this is, we've just had the full moon recently. So we're in the waning of the moon. So uh, I was going to do a money incense, but I really don't feel right doing that during the waning. I'd rather do that during the waxing of the moon when it's creating and mm -hmm. new moon. And oh my, it's all. Oh, know. that's good to know. So when it's waxing is when it's working its way up to the full moon and that waning is going away. Oh, hence waning. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. And, and gotcha. waning is good for protection, clearing, uh, healing, and exercising. <laughs> And Shit. I, I mean, I was exorcism. All back that up. <laughs> exercise? Yeah. I, I meant exorcism. <laughs> um, so, yeah, if you want to exercise an energy out of your house, um, you know, this is the time to do it. I love to bless homes when it's full moon. Um, also, uh, winning spring energy. Renewal of energy. Yeah. Right? You know, I'm, I'm, I was spring cleaning this morning. I mean, my God, yeah, if you get the bug, everybody should have the bug for spring cleaning on some level. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So, it'd be good to go through your house with sage some straight frankincense eucalyptus oil mm -hmm. um we do have an episode coming up here in the near future on cleansing your house with uh epsom salt which is a feng shui technique which i've used um but uh in this episode we're dedicating this episode to magical herbs part two uh and we're going to put a, a healing excuse me protection herb together here a blend for ourselves. I'm really excited about this, you guys. And, uh, uh, and I brought some different herbs out to see what really I want to work with. And um, what, what's at the end there? What do we have there? Okay, so at the end we have witch hazel bark. Witch hazel bark. Okay, let's see. And you also have um, some red. Yes. Now, that's there's two different dragon bloods that we have here tonight uh, on this episode that I'm working with. And I'm just trying to dis discern which one I'm going to use. And I'm probably going to use the dragon's blood in that cup for different reasons. Mm, that's witch hazel. It's, that's still fresh. It still smells good. Ooh, that's very, um, it has its own scent. Very now, earthy. Now, wi witch hazel. Uh, this is bark witch hazel, which is good for uh, protection and chastity, which we don't need to talk about that. Yeah, I was looking at that. I was like, this is the yeah. one we get. But, but, That's but, not but, the kind of root but, for me. But, but, <laughs> but, okay. <laughs> well, let's finish the story. Now, we're, we're not going to make a big batch of anything here tonight on this episode. but And also, you need a morta. Now, oh, we still have some prosperity incense from a long time ago. Remember, we had, <laughs> did we make that together? I don't think we were together, but I was wondering what that was. Yeah. Um, what we need is a place to put this incense. We need like a plastic baggie or something um, um, to get this incense. I mean, we need this powder out of here. So, Athena, mm -hmm. could you grab us a executive producer? Could you grab us a plastic baggie, please? A sandwich baggie. You need a mortar, which you can get at world market places like that. Pure One Imports or uh, Mystical Dragon and yeah. Carlsbad. <laughs> Mystical Dragon and Carlsbad, they got them. Um, and that's going to be your magical bowl for grinding herbs and mixing things. Are you going to be grinding anything this evening? Yes, we are. Okay. 
but I forgot actually that we had in, I had incense here that I put together a blend that I used and there was some leftover that should have been put away Never and what do you do with away. like leftover? Do you keep it for like the next ritual? Do you? Yeah, I'll burn that soon because that's a money incense right there. Do you mind if I take a sniff? Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> don't, don't yeah. try this at home, kids. Yeah. Oh, that smells really good. Yeah. Oh, that smells really good. Thank you. It's one oh, of my blends. That's one of my blends. I'm surprised. Pleasantly surprised. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. I've been doing this long enough to achieve something now. Here's a, a spoon made by my one of my teachers, David Newell. God bless his soul, his spirit, and his loved ones. And may that resonate into the universe forever and to every dimension. And this is a uh, very unique wood. And um, so we're going to take some witch hazel and just a little. Now, is this um, like, I don't know, like a, a, a teaspoon, teaspoon? Yeah, about a teaspoon. Tablespoon? Teaspoon. Okay. Then, you know, we have... Uh, Do you want me to move this for you? I gotta tighten this. Yeah, for those of you on Spotify and listening to this and you're not able to see us on YouTube, then thank you for being patient. But I just put some witch hazel into the mortar teaspoon. Like I said, I can't get carried away. I'm not making a big batch to sell to everybody. But you can use the same recipe I'm using here on this episode. I also have some Solomon seal which is good for protection and exorcism, but I'm not sure if I want to use that. Let me smell it. Like, I really need to get rid of some people. Like, exorcism is just fine. <laughs> Throw that shit in there. Yeah, usually, <laughs> usually living your truth is, gets rid of them. <laughs> that, that still smells good. So I'm going to take maybe a half a tea. You want to smell that? Yeah, I'm trying to smell everything. Ooh, you know, I don't know about that one, but I'm trusting you. I'm trusting you yeah, on Yeah, I'm going to put just a little, just a smidge yeah, this is just going to be just. This would be like a pinch. Yes, that would be the equivalence of uh, like a small pinch. A small pinch. Which really for that mortar, it's a small mortar. Uh, that's quite a bit. And then we have, you know, I have some rock dragon's blood, which is, you know, this is the stuff that when you add it to anything, as far as magical, whether it's a love potion, a healing potion, a hate potion, a protection potion, it will just magnify your magic. Oh, dragon's blood is the ultimate protection. Now, I have two I different types of dragon's oils. blood here. Mm -hmm. And um, dragon's blood is used for love, protection, exorcism, uh, potency, mag magnifying the magic that it's being uh, infused with. Mm hmm now, I'm sure for people that are at home, they're like, how in the world, maybe this isn't a question, I should probably research this, but um, how in the world do people... I'm not sure if I can even get this open. Right yeah, now. like look at this and go, oh, this is Solomon seal. We're going to use this and then have it actually manifest and work properly. It's just such a weird discovery. It's an ancient herb. An ancient you know. herb. So it's just trial no, this and this really doesn't even have a smell to it. You can smell that. Making sure it doesn't have any of those um, skull labels. Just in case. Yeah, no, that means it's a poison, and I've researched this very well. Oh my gosh, this, this smells like earth. I love it, Sedona. Yeah. It's uh, that's that's the rock uh, dragon's blood, and for those of you who are actually watching our YouTube channel, and here's these giant beautiful crystals from Arkansas uh, that I, I got from a good friend of mine, and um, what's what's this? Okay, that's a Solomon. So what else do we have? Um, we have Angelica Rue. Um, we have Witch Hazel Bark. You have Solomon Seal. Okay, we did use the Witch Hazel. I don't think I'm going to use the Angelica Root. I'm not feeling it. Now, um, is it there... Smells really good, though. Is there, like, a, any repercussions of using, like, more or less? Like, oh, it actually smells like the Witch Hazel a little bit. Um, so it will, the more you use, does it just amplify the... Depending on the herb, yeah. Uh -huh. I mean, you try to have a fair balance of energy with the spirits of these herbs. And um, so if you smell this dragon's blood, let me just... It looks like cayenne pepper in a... In a... Smell that. Oh, I love that. See, that has it's more of a nice. smell to it. So yes. uh, I kind of feel rather than to use the rock frankincense tonight, 
which is really a, a lot of work. Uh, it's a grind. In the yeah, well, I got some powder in this jar here, but it's it's a process to get it out. But the rock frank, the rock dragon's blood comes from a draconian palm tree, and it's the most powerful stuff on the planet is dragon's blood. And I'm just so lucky. I and mean, then for those that the don't Lord know, God, um, Travis makes uh, dragon's uh, blood oil, and it's actually used in protection uh. against... Um, negative entities like if you need to have like a little bit of clearing just on your body for the whole day I'm letting you guys know it works 100,000% and I love the way it smells it's gorgeous yeah mm -hmm. yeah thank you for that yeah so you know you can contact me at uh, Travis Tibble podcast gmail.com or if you're on the YouTube channel leave us a message through the comment and if you're looking to get uh, a hold of Ashley um, you can you guys you guys can find me at the Pisces Life Coach on Instagram. So shoot me a DM, or um, you can read my blog too, the Petty Petty Prince Princess Chronicles, which is a spiritual blog as well. Forgot to add that wow, in earlier. Yeah, you need to get that. Yeah, and it what's like, it called again? Um, the Petty Petty Princess. It was like my ode to like woe is me is life, and it kind of took me on a journey into my spiritual um, transcendence, basically, and uh, some of my my um, revelations, basically. All right, cool. Yeah. Cool. I've had people around the world. They've been um, commenting, like from India or um, from Spain as well, too. I mean, it's okay. really original, so I'm excited. All right, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, <laughs> and if you're listening on Spotify or iTunes, you know, buy the album that I have. Uh, Time has come by Travis Tidwell. It's spiritual. It's new age. It's hip hop ish. It's got some great new beats age. to it. Yeah, it is. It's definitely new. Time it's cutting edge. Has come. Time has come for a change, people. And there's uh, songs on my album that are Kabbalistic prayers from the Keys of Solomon that you can learn and empower yourself as you're singing those songs. LP number three coming soon. Two. Two actually, and dose. We're going to drop two real soon here, hopefully. I don't know. It's There's been a real challenge in my life trying to get that done right now, but it is in progress. I have written more songs, and I still have songs I, I wrote that didn't get on the first album. And I'm just so thankful to the Lord God Yahweh and Hermes, who's also the founder of music in some aspect uh, also. <laughs> with my daughter, the goddess Athena. If it wasn't for her, that music would have never got on Spotify and been played all over the world. And I just want to thank everybody who's, seriously, it's just, and that's just the truth. So uh, if you're looking for new music, buy it. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. I mean, you know, you can go to my Instagram, One Sacred Dragon. Go to her Instagram again. It's the Pisces Life Coach. Yeah. And you can follow our personal lives. At least that's, I got my personal life on there. Um, if you want to follow my spiritual life, you'd have to join my group. Go to the website, TravisTidwell.us, and you can zoom in with me every Wednesday night. Yes, you can. And uh, do ceremony with me uh, through live stream, mm -hmm. which we're now providing. And uh, we just did the spring equinox. Yeah, that was, um, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. It was. I do regret, though, not putting together a special incense for that night because I've done that before, but there's just been a lot going on. I'm not going to lie. I think you had your hands full. Yeah. You had a lot going on that Oh, night. my God. I could almost not breathe after <laughs> greeting. I'm not used to I greeting was. and bless. I have a, an exercise to greet and bless everybody. I just yes. don't want you to walk through the door for ceremony. Mm -hmm. I prepare you and greet you. And I had to do, I don't know how many people by myself. There was like nine, ten. Yeah, There's a lot of people. <laughs> I've, been, I've been drinking and smoking a little bit, you know, pre-celebration per ritual. Wine. Oh, whoever gave that to him. Yeah, Tanya, got my, him. my spiritual Tanya, sister. Girl, yeah. you got him tipsy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, was, I had a great, I love those, that's a sacred day for me. So I was pretty well exhausted by the time I got to, to the altar and mm -hmm. and started doing the yod hey vod -Hey chant, but I didn't stop. Yeah, like he, and, you elevated up for a while, I was like, is he even breathing? Because you just kept going. Well, when I had that going. damn mask on, okay, so that was the other thing kicking no, you my were ass. Just, you, you had like, you kept a consistent tone for like a yeah. good two minutes. I was yeah. a little taken back. I was like... You yeah. must be channeling from the yeah, higher heavens. I am definitely. Like, I'm, in, I'm in that whole <laughs> Yahweh space, man. I'm in. I'm with that holy and divine spirit and with mm -hmm. sacred dragon and my guides and my my consciousness is is there uh, in spirit more than the physical realm, you know. Mm -hmm. And that's what I love about it. Now we have some rock. Char we have some charcoal here. This is Three Kings charcoal. That's the best charcoal to buy if you can get your hands on it. Of course, I'm not trying to knock any other charcoal. Try that too, as long as it burns good. You know, so be it. So be it. Uh, so we've got some witch hazel. We got some seal of Solomon. 
Um, Should they be burning maybe frankincense while they're putting their ingredients in their? It doesn't motor, matter, honestly. Motor. No. Moat. And I, you know, I was going to put some frank. Mortar, I'm going to put a pinch of frankincense in here too, because I love frankincense. It's, it's Yahweh's favorite smell, as well as the, the God, the Lord God Ra. I love how Egypt. it looks like a uh, Himalayan pink uh, salt. Yeah, I really like. And it. I just put a little pinch in there because this is going to be a small batch. We don't want to overkill anything. And then we have here, now this is dragon's blood powder that I put together through the oil. That's really a red filler. Mm -hmm. And then I mixed it with some oil and made my own little dragon's blood powder. That's right. Just like a, a, a little bit of oil? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, no, it was a lot of oil because I made a big, big container of it. <laughs> yeah. I mean, the, the consistency is very powdery and yeah. fine still. I'll give you some of this to take home with you. Can, you, have char you burn charcoal? Oh, no, I don't. I don't burn charcoal. Oh, this sure? is all new to me, you guys. I'm learning as you guys are learning. That's why I'm here. Yeah, that's the other reason why she's co-hosting with me. Yeah, she's great well, to, Tell me what's to teach. Up. <laughs> she's like gets to hang out and learn with me at the same time. Um, it's like a Sesame Street for spirituality. Sorry, yeah, guys. <laughs> no, she's 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 asked a great question. She's just great energy to bounce off with me. Uh, I, we resonate, and uh, that's why she's here. And she brings a lot to the. We're the spiritual Howard Stern and Robin. That's yes. what we've been told. So I'm going to stand by that this evening here in this <laughs> in this episode here. Um, so you put maybe about like a, a teaspoon and a quarter, yeah, maybe. Yeah, less than that, maybe a half teaspoon. This is a small spoon I used here. I didn't use my other spoon. I've got, a, I've got three different magical spoons here I'm always using mm -hmm. of some sort, some sizes here for what I need to dip into my herbs with. So now that we've done that, uh, the next thing I'll do is I'll ask my Heavenly Father and the Holy Spirit this night in this episode to bless the spirit of these herbs and a genie of the oil that, that mixed with that herb to co-mingle together and work together in protection as I charge these herbs in the spirit of that dragon's blood to work together and bring protection and removal of negative energy. Ata malkut vigebra vigejlele olam, amen. And what I did, I just blessed that. Now go ahead and grind, baby. Right there. Okay, so um, am I just crunching down on it? Yeah. I've never done this before. You've never done this I've before. never done this before. Yeah, you want to press down and just groin that. Yeah, there you go. Okay. That's, that's the, that. There, there you okay. go. Get that hand going. <laughs> For anybody. Yeah. Get but, some slow in that movement. <laughs> if, you're that not, if you're not watching it, you again, know, it's, like. it's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, we're here to entertain you also, okay? I mean, you're getting real great information plus good entertainment here. We're fucking entertaining. Sorry yeah, for that. Yeah, exactly. Like, that's okay. We're we're real people. So, um, so we, I've gotten to I think to, to like, light some more charcoal here. So, like, I've gotten to like a piece of like a uh, some of this that's a uh, kind of hard to grind. You just keep grinding until you. You can't keep grinding grind. until you can't grind no more. Okay. <laughs> Can someone put some juvenile back? Yeah, there you go. Yeah, there's a little Wayne or something. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a little biscuit. I don't know. Limp We're biscuit. real people. Don't think because I'm a spiritual master, which I am at what I do and who I am for the years I've been doing this, but I'm still a man. There's many different musics I love. I love a lot of rap. I love I love some country. Oh, yeah. I We're diverse individuals. Oh, totally. Yeah. You go to my playlist, it'll blow your mind. Plus, I'm, I'm an artist myself, and I have my own music, which I like producing and, uh, and creating. And uh, soon you're going to have my four-string lyre given to me by the god Hermes. And I'll be blowing your minds with that here soon. Um, okay, I'm getting it. I'm working down, but these little pieces of wood just okay, are let me not just see here. Hold sawing on. Let me, down. Let me get this going here real quick because we need new charcoal. So, yeah, make sure you guys get a good charcoal at home. Make sure it's going just like a barbecue charcoal. You get Let it get red first before you start throwing stuff on it. You said the PayPal works. So did, we, did you put any stuff on your site yet? You know, my website has no merchandise to buy for the exception of the, book, the Sacred Dragon book. And there's some Reiki booklets you can buy there. Uh, but I don't have any candles for sale like reversibles right now. Um, will that be coming soon? That, that, will, mm -hmm. that will be coming to the website in time. Uh, right now I'm focused on just providing services while I'm building uh, can you take a look my life right now. Here. Hold on here. Yeah, Yeah. there's a few rocks and I'm like, geez, like you just want to slam down on it. This is a lot of work, people. 
I don't know if you can hear the grinding motion in the background for those on Spotify. Yeah, that witch hazel bark is not gonna. Yeah, like it's in there. It's 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 there to stay. But I did break it down a little bit more. But uh, let's see let's see what that smells like here. I don't want to be influenced by that spoon. Not bad. I mean, it's, it has nothing distinct, but you can smell the dragon's blood. I mean, I let me smell yeah, we'll the dragon's let, blood. Yeah, let her smell it now. To be honest, it's a... Uh it has a nice it has a nice aroma like in on the back end it, it it it's um long you know what i mean and at the very end of it you just get this little hint yeah and it's it's kind of it's mild it's not really it is very mild so i mean it's first people because if you smell these individually they're a little pugnant because this is the real herbs that you're going to be using for protection if you want to do the real deal protection now you can buy herb that's already says protection on buy your stick incense says protection mm -hmm. There's many herbs out there that provide protection. This isn't the only way. But, mm -hmm. and you know, tuning into the spiritual life, I'm going to share with you with what I do and, and what, how I use it and what's going on. So I just made some protection incense. Now we do have a good piece of charcoal going on there. Let's uh, go ahead. Oh, so would you like me to put this on the charcoal? Just a little yeah, bit? Yeah, just a little bit there. Let's see what it smells like on fire. <coughs> That's enough. Is that enough? Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna let that burn for a minute here. How are we doing on time, executive producer? Okay. Oh, now I'm, now it's hitting me. It smells great when it hits the charcoal. It's a whole different realm. Bring it on. So so now that we we lit this, we put it on fire, and so now and I, I might. And I blessed and the blessed genie it. of that little oil that was commingling with that herb. I blessed the spirits of that herb together tonight. You saw me. You heard me do it. Mm -hmm. Because in your magic, you know, and, and to be spiritual, you got to be conscious of your atmosphere and everything involved and created in it. Mm -hmm. You know, what would that be if we just put these herbs together and didn't bless the spirits of these herbs? Didn't bring in the Actually, divine what source? Would, and what would happen? That's a <clears> good question. It would probably smell the same, but it's not going to be as powerful. But it would still do a little bit of something for, oh. for somebody that yes, might be you know, now a little me, scared. You're, you're right, because you know what? It will. It has its that's natural it. virtues of what they're going to do. That's why we that. picked herbs that specifically said protection. But they also have other things, protection, like chastity and other things. So what did I do? I charged these herbs specifically for protection. Protection, and that's why it works that way now if I wouldn't have sure it's just like having a crystal it's going to emanate its natural virtue mm -hmm. but if you want to specifically use one of those virtues you're going to have to charge it and program it so we've charged this herb to do one thing mm -hmm. it's like the dragon's blood you can charge that for protection or you can charge that for love no it's amazing and, and, and I don't I know or you to enhance your what you're doing and I don't know if I've ever done this before but if you run your hand through the smoke it feels like silk like, it's a really, um, I've never experienced yeah, I can't that before. Even do it. I got one hand on Oh, there. yeah. No worries. No worries. Um, let me get a little bit. So, um, can you explain to everybody what you use today? Like, kind of like a recap of what you use? Well, we used uh, witch hazel, mm -hmm. bark. We used a little bit of Solomon seal. Um, and we used a little bit of uh, frankincense, a pinch of frankincense. Mm -hmm. And, um, Witch hazel bark. Yeah, we didn't use the angelica root. No, no. <coughs> and and put, run your hand through it. And we didn't do like. Oh it yeah, feels it's, like it, it has this light. It has this very light vibration to it. You could feel that. Yeah, you can. That's awesome. Um, and it, it smells pretty good. It smells awesome. You know, um, and that's, I know that sounds it, bad, but I'm like smelling. My well, you know, what? because I put my own dragon's blood powder on there. My my little red little thing here that I have that I make is pretty bomb, honestly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know the rock is good. Uh, this is just as the powerful rock. as right. Yeah, the rock that we have here. You know, it's all dusty. <laughs> like. No, but yeah, it's important. And you know, and like we're laughing here tonight in this episode, and we're enjoying what we've just created. Mm -hmm. You can see that right here on the spot. We took these herbs and we created something very special with a special intention. So we'll split what's left, and you can take a little bit home with you. And, I'm gonna have uh, to take a charcoal home too, just after I've partnered. Of course, of course, Gracias. no worries. This is like the Walmart of just resources. 
I well, I don't it. have everything, but I do have a decent collection going on. I still need. I went downstairs to my other jars that I have. <laughs> I've got about a hundred jars. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, and some of these are going to have to be replaced here soon. But and the when ones, you the say ones replaced, because the they're older. Yeah, or yeah, some of these herbs survive long term. They've been in these preserve seals uh, cap jars. I, and they smell I can good. See the fuzz just yeah, from yeah. whatever used to be ages ago. Yeah, they're all rusted out. Right. And shit, they look antique, rusty, and all that. But inside, uh, you can tell the herbs are still good. Mm -hmm. These are rock herbs too, which are you know, they age uh, real slowly. Now other herbs haven't done that, and I've had to throw them out. I do have some empty jars, but all the jobs, jars here that I have in my house right now, currently that you can see, which is. Uh, let's see. God, I don't know. I probably have at least 50 herbs here. Mm -hmm. No, definitely. And <laughs> yeah. I think you guys could be able to see that if you um, look at some of our older podcasts. Right, you'll see the, the background. background. Mm -hmm. And that goes all the way to the floor. So Yeah, it does. Um, yeah, you know, I try to uh, keep up on my herbs because I am a shaman for a living. And I love having everything accessible to me because people come to me for different things. So I could take these herbs right here too. The herbs that we just burned, I could have put those all in an amulet bag and charged it and gave it to them and said, hey, put this in your pocket. And just carry it with That's you. That's right. Mm -hmm. But now we just cleared my house uh, from anything negative. Uh, my executive producer, how'd you like the smell? It was, eh, you know. it was faint. It yeah. was faint. And, you know, I, I, I really, the base of it was the witch hazel. Because I did use a full teaspoon on that, you know, and everything yeah. else was a half teaspoon or a pinch. Like I said, I did something here very light. You don't need to get crazy with a bunch of herbs and just start throwing stuff together. I think, like, the number one question would be where in the actual Where's Waldo would I even find some of these items? You're going to have to Google it. You're going to have to. So you're really yeah. going to have to go out and See, when out. I had my own metaphysical bookstore, which I've had a couple times in this life. Bring it back, bring it back. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> At, well, someday I'm hoping I can still do that. But all these herbs I have, I've had my business. So you used to buy. I used to sell these herbs to the public. Mm -hmm. I don't know more. It's a lot of work to keep these herbs uh, for the public and what I'm using them myself. So I like to have my stash. And I'm a ceremonial magician, new age shaman kind of guy here. So it's nice for me to have this accessible for all the work that I do for people mm -hmm. <clears throat> as well as to help myself. Uh, there's so many. I guess I can't even explain like the wealth of resource that you have. But I also couldn't even begin to fathom how long it may have taken or taken to yeah, acquire years, a lot of years. this stuff. I've been doing this for 32 so years. So I can see why you're like, I need this readily available in case the, of the emergency of anything could possibly you happen. Bet. And since COVID, you know, uh -huh. uh, business and everything, nobody's coming to the house. So, we, you know, we've done th things on Zoom. We do to get together for our ceremonies. But normally I do sell amulet bags, and that'll be one thing that I will be putting up on the website here soon. Mm -hmm. So I can make you a love bag or a money bag or a good health bag or protection bag through the different Tea herbs bags. that I have. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Now, actually, speaking of which, I'm glad I randomly said tea bag, but is there any of these that might be consumable? At the angelica root. Is that the Possibly, one? Possibly, yeah. That would uh -huh. be the only one I would think about. I heard, now that's just rumor. You're going to have to check that for yourself, but I heard that they sprinkled that on on desserts and stuff in Europe or in France. I could be wrong. Keep but talking yeah, on Google. Yeah, Angelica Root, here she goes, ladies. Yeah, that's why she's the co-host. <laughs> yeah. Well, it does say that it, um, it's used um, to make medicine um, for heartburn, intestinal gas, a loss of appetite for anorexia, arthritis, uh, circulation problems, running nose, um, nervousness, plague, and trouble sleeping. So I'm looking for food. I haven't found it yet on food should we burn a little bit of that angelica root yeah i mean shit it just said like let's try some of this real quick here and then we're gonna have to so i think what it was angelica root prior to its bark like state is was pale green it was almost like celery stalks and it was also considered um called wild celery so it's candied and it's used as a decoration on cakes and other desserts. Okay. All right, yes. there, 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 there we go. So, and was the original green candy and fruit cake. Now I'm just going to put a pinch here on the charcoal because that other sense, the other incense we put. Together you know, this is, is an abs absence that drink. Oh really? So mm -hmm. we get high on burning it. Well, dang! Bring it on over. <laughs> Dina. High on spirit, people. High on spirit. No, there's not enough there to do anything. So, yeah, this has been, you know, uh, Magical Herbs Part 2. I mean, mm -hmm. 
<clears throat> this is where now, for those of you out there who really want to become the high priest, the ceremony magician, the real practitioner, um, you're going to have to start going online and looking for these type of herbs and start making your own magic blends. Now, every herb I did use tonight carried a virtue of protection, and that's why I brought them and commingled them together. Now, I could have used each one separately, but I believe in the power of unity. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't think that this is, I, I mean, I'm sure I'm wrong, but I just feel like this is just the topic that isn't for beginners. Like, people aren't just going to jump into, you know, herbs, magical herbs, at least on a normal day-to-day -day basis, maybe like in other cultures, like Native American Wiccans culture. are doing it every day. Mm -hmm. Wiccans are doing it every day. I mean, there's a lot of people, spiritual, who are using charcoal. Now, they might not be involved in the herbs that we're talking about, mm -hmm. but... That doesn't, you know, and most people, you're right, they're buying pre-made stuff. You know, you, yeah. can, you can get a pre-made. You don't it's have like you to can't be. can't even trust that it's the right stuff, yeah. though. Yeah. You don't yeah. know. Yes and no, depending on the company, and you know, and their reputation or how they've been rated. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I'm not going to, you know, just write everybody off, you know. Mm -hmm. But um, because you do have to be careful, for sure. There's a lot of different philosophies. It's like, you know, a lot of people are on YouTube saying stuff that a lot of it's not true or it's, it's corrupted or it's just not what it, they say it is. Mm -hmm. But... Um, we've just been given the notice uh, that we're going to have to wrap this thing up. Um, so we, we're hoping that you really enjoyed this information yes, on this episode. Yes, I enjoyed this. Um, a lot of philosophies out there, but this is uh, my way of doing uh, a protection herb tonight. It's Yahweh's way. Yeah, it's not my way or your way. It's Yahweh. Yahweh. And uh, we want to thank my executive producer here, Athena. Athena. I always want to thank my co-host, Ashley, who thank brings a lot here to our me. energy here. I want to thank the Lord God, Yahweh, my guide, Hermes, Mercurius, Trismegistus, our angel, Ariel, and all our angels and guides and spirit guides here uh, on this podcast with Sacred Dragon. And I wish only for the, all of you out there receiving this information that it would be a blessing, a benefit, and a service for you. As we wish you all, uh, God bless you all, your family, your friends, your pets, and your loved ones. And so be it. And many blessings for planet Earth, please. Thank you. Time has come for a change.